Peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. Omar Abdul Malik here, physician associate, health educator, moderately fit, middle aged endurance athlete, and family man. So I want to talk to you guys about my work as a nocturnist. So a nocturnist physician associate is not an MD. So a nocturnist is a clinician who works at night. So either the medical doctor, the physician associate, or the nurse practitioner may cover at night. So some of the ways it differs from being a hospitalist during the day is that we would do admissions or late discharges. Uh, sometimes you have to decide if a patient needs to be sent out to another hospital um, for an emergency. You have to get good at certain procedures, maybe line placement, that kind of thing maybe even chest tube placement. Um, you have to do admissions and be able to uh, tell what type of specialist needs to be consulted. Every hospital is different uh, where your, where your uh, responsibilities would be concerned. Sometimes patients die at night, so it'll be your responsibility as the nocturnist to contact the patient's family members and let them know of the event and, you know, when they, if they decide to come to the hospital, you may explain things to them and console them to the best of your ability. Um, one of the things that you'll probably not do as a nocturnist is attend IDT meetings or interdisciplinary team meetings. Those are meetings about patients that involve the other staff members. So nursing, respiratory therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy. Uh, maybe the administrative type people, the, uh, the social workers and the case managers who may be planning for a safe discharge for a, a patient. If you work at a place like I do uh, that's, uh, that is ICU and long-term acute care management, uh, you may be, be called upon to see patients on a SNF unit or a skilled nursing facility um, if that's part of your duties. But um, nocturnists also requires you to be very alert at night. So it's ideal for those of you all who are night owls or caffeine-driven people like me. <laughs> but uh, I, I really enjoy the challenge of it. Uh, one thing that you have to be is a good communicator, uh, communicating with the person who you relieve from morning shift and then being a good communicator with the person who relieves you in the day shift. So you would do a sign-off to them. What were the events, what were some of the important events that occurred with patients during the night? Did somebody code? Did they have to be sent out? Did um, code meaning their heart stopped and you had to try to bring them back, as it were, following ACLS protocols? If you ordered any test, the results of which may not be back until after your shift, you need to communicate to the clinician um, who you sign off to, like, I ordered a CBC on this patient. I, I pan cultured this patient who I thought was septic. I started empiric antibiotics. Can you follow up on that? I ordered an x-ray on this patient. Can you follow up on that? So communication is a very strong skill that you must have in order to be a successful nocturnist. Um, it can throw you off in terms with your, your circadian rhythms if you are a, uh, a, a morning bird. You like to be up in the morning but sleep at night. But um, I, I find it rewarding. Uh, my next video, I think I'll talk about um, what it is to be a hospitalist and how to excel at that position. Oh, and in terms of your knowledge base in the hospital, um, know how to read an EKG. You don't always have access to the cardiologist. Uh, communicate with, with other team members like the respiratory therapist. If you have patients who are on mechanical ventilation, those guys are, are, are absolutely... Uh, you know, key sources of, uh, of information when it comes to successfully managing patients. And of course, a physician assistant like myself always answer to your supervising physician. Okay, uh, if you want to be a PA like me, I've been a PA for almost 25 years. I really enjoy it. I would have switched physicians or careers if I did not enjoy it. Uh, you can feel free to reach out to me and I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. That's it for now. I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Peace.